make them work for their Brent tonight. Make them know what it's about, that they're coming here, the second division club, that are going away with nothing. With, with a lot less than nothing, maybe a couple of balls in the back net as far as we're concerned as well. OK, come on, get yourselves going. All right, yes, come on. <laughs> well, Don Mackay's team has a strong Liverpool connection with Howard Gale, who cut his footballing teeth at Anfield and numbered a European Cup semi final amongst his appearances before moving on, and striker Sean Curry, who was a Liverpool reserve for three and a half years before coming to Ewood Park last January. Gale with Sunderland and goalkeeper Terry Geno with Southampton have both been Wembley finalists in this competition. The new team captain, Nicky Reid, played for Manchester City in an FA Cup final. And Colin Hendry, the goal-scoring hero of Blackburn's own Wembley triumph last March, suffered an eye injury in training yesterday, so 18-year-old Keith Hill could hardly have been given more testing opposition for his first senior game. Liverpool have also lost the central defender Gary Gillespie, who damaged a calf at Newcastle. So Nigel Spackman, a substitute then, is in for the start tonight. It's the team which finished off that impressive victory at St James's Park. Well, no one seems to enjoy refereeing at this level more than Neil Midgley. These days from Bolton. Well, Liverpool in such fine fettle, we know all about that. But Blackburn Rovers, not short of ambition themselves. Don Mackay has already talked to Steve Archibald about a move here. And yesterday he made an audacious attempt to sign on loan, a very well-known first division striker from the London area. Back from Keith Hill. Geno, the goalkeeper, was asked to look after Keith Hill. Keith Hill's reply was, uh, I'll look after Terry. So he's obviously got plenty of confidence. Spun away from Reed. McMahon. Morrison peeled away to the left. And Nicol, who made these sort of runs to such telling effect at St James's Park. Watched closely by Chris Sully, who appealed for a throw. But the linesman ruled that it hadn't gone out. Barnes. It's Aldridge waiting on the far post. Just taken away from him. And that was a crucial header by David Mayle. Aldridge had just pulled away to the corner of the goal area. And was poised in a position from which he might have been hoping to continue his wonderful scoring record. Hill drove it against Beardsley. Goal kick. Anxious early moments for Keith Hill. by Gale, who got the run of the ball against Lawrenson, and he'll take some catching Howard Gale. But with two to aim for with the cross, Robola read his mind. And Gale has stayed off the pitch, as though he might have damaged a muscle in that break. Which was a promising one for Blackburn, until Robola cut out the cross. But it's been a bad start for Blackburn. They've lost Howard Gale with only 11 minutes gone. And Ian Miller is a replacement very much of the same style of player, wide on the right hand side. A good servant here. In fact, he's the club captain and only lost his place through injury. Liverpool 
will certainly know they've got to keep an eye on Simon Garner. He was a scorer for the last time the two teams met competitively in the FA Cup back in 1983. They led with a Garner goal, but were beaten 2-1. Here's Barker. Sellers. It was very well struck on the half turn by Scott Sellers. Dropping awkwardly onto the left foot. He pivoted well and it didn't quite dip quickly enough for the former Leeds midfield player. stayed down important interception by Spackman and the second time but McMahon in some pain on his feet now and the bash Liverpool drive on they can't get over the gym it was an attempted tackle with Sean Curry that the injury occurred Garner Curry, maybe the shot on for Simon Garner, and the second time, the first block was from Lawrenson, the second from Spackman. Blackburn still with their tails up, until the double hour makes it look easy from Miller's cross. This judgment from Mayo, that's Beardsley, and Gano pulls it out, and away from Woolwich, who then push Sully down, and it's a free kick to Blackburn. Peter Beardsley, who's a great facts and figures man, is well aware that he hasn't scored a goal in this competition. And you can sense perhaps an extra edge in his approach to goal tonight. That was a tremendous effort taken early on the volley. Barnes is lurking on the far side. Nicole quite entitled to look for him. Very much in the Liverpool makeup to play their corner short, but Blackburn have tried to compensate for this by taking two players out to defend against it and making Barnes take the orthodox outswinger. But Nicol almost turned that into a goal. Well, it's another corner. Here's Nicole, 1 0. It's a goal this time. And this footballer of many parts shows his eye for an opening yet again. It's his seventh of the season. Beautifully taken on the half volley. It's sped past Geno. have shown in this match that in the modern game it's sometimes easier to score coming from midfield when you face the goal and it was taken right from Geno's grasp by Chris Price presumably Geno didn't call Blackburn with a let off then it seems a quite straightforward catch And there was Price. 
guiding it away in the end to safety. Barnes. Mann. Venison has got Nickel ahead of him. And further forward is Beardsley. And Venison has a difficult move to keep going at such pace. But Blackburn's defending lacks some concentration. And Nickel, another one. The finish once again was admirable. Blackburn seemed to have reclaimed it. Aldridge touched it on. And Nicol just too quick with the run. It stays at 1-1. Here's Sellers. Neil tugging at him. Sellers with a change of direction and help when it was required from Curry. was an exhilarating Blackburn move started by Sellers on the edge of his own area Garner was involved at the last and really wanted someone for Blackburn to get there before Hansen Barnes defending at the near post before the corner can be taken. Blackburn want to make their second substitution, but Neil Midgley, I think, has now spotted it. Barker handicapped by a groin strain. And John Miller, who's played in the first division for Chelsea, John Miller. John Miller. is on with 17 minutes left. He'll flick it. a little bit lucky but it fell Aldridge's way Whelan McMahon now Nickel that's been a match full of shots on target and another one from Beardsley was if anything a little under hit He's never been what the professionals call a bread-and-butter finisher, Peter Beardsley. Often his goals have been spectacular. And that was a genuine striker's chance then. The sort of opportunity you feel Aldridge would have taken. is about to learn that reputation counts for little when you play for Liverpool a missed chance and it ends in Beardsley being substituted with 15 minutes remaining to give Paul Walsh a run That's the secret of Liverpool's success, that everybody has to play for their place. And Peter Beardsley with only one goal so far this season. Maybe getting a little jolt there to his pride. Hansen. Held up for Barnes in lush grass at Ewood Park. The surface really to encourage players like Barnes. He can hit them with both feet. And there was extravagant curl on that. And 
not far away. Whelan. Oh, and Sally's made a mistake. This is all his chance. Well, then John Aldridge doesn't continue his run of eight goals in eight starts for Liverpool. He'll curse this moment after Chris Sully miskicked. Whelan. McMahon in the holding position in midfield. There's such a lovely balance to Liverpool's football. Barnes with the cross, and Geno is backpedalling and not too confident. But David Mayall has thrown himself at everything. Barnes with the flick. Oh, and Aldridge again. Good things must end, and it's not really turning out to be John Aldridge's night in front of goal. But you never count against him until the final whistle is gone. Kenny Dalglish played in all six of Liverpool's finals in this competition. 4-1 and 2 lost, including the one against Arsenal. And Lawrenson has put them in trouble here. Simon Garner against Grobelar. Grobelar wins. And that would have written a headline or two in the morning papers. First of all, with a lapse from Lawrenson. And Garner went for power. And that's the way finished at 1-0.